in today's video guys i will be showing to you my mining rig so this is my first mining rig that i've uh, assembled this uh, 2021 so in terms of profitability and everything i will be teaching it later on but before i start into this video do not forget to subscribe into my channel it is crypto addict here back again with another awesome updates and let's just jump right into it okay so in my case i do have uh, seven gpus so i mainly use rtx 3070 ti so this is uh, a new version of a gpu so luckily i got it pretty much in the lower price but uh i made a mistake that in instead of buying this i should have bought 3060 ti instead why because ti 3070 ti is light hash rate means it has a lower hash rate and it is not that worth it in terms of profitability in mining but in terms of the graphic card itself it is a lot more valuable than 3060 ti now the first thing that you you are seeing here is the hive os platform so this platform is actually um used for you to be able to track all of the temperatures all of the voltage all of the fans the horse the memory and the power limit and every single stuff so this is where you modify your uh, gpus if you want to uh, put it into uh, a higher a higher memory which will give you uh, a, ha a higher hash rate and also to monitor if the temperature is doing good so essentially if you are mining uh it has been ad i've been advised that the temperature should be lower than 65 for best performance because if you are having a higher temperatures than that that means that your gpu is going to be a lot more um uh, what do you call that hotter and as a result these hotter temperatures can also damage your gpu's long term which means your gpu won't last even longer okay so this is the fan speed okay so um just take in mind here okay the first thing that you're that you're going to do if you are going to mine a gpu you should always take in mind that every single gpu has its own memories has its own cores has its own uh what they call that configuration so in my case uh i may be getting a lower mega hash or hash rate into this tree but the reason why uh this is really low because i also um adjusted the memory and um I've, i basically adjusted the memory and also increased the fan why because if i uh, make it to uh, 2800 the temperature will go up to 75 72 which is not an uh, ideal thing if you are mining and if you are in it long term okay so take in mind that uh you can be able to change it via this part over here i will repeat it again so you can adjust the core clock you can adjust the memory clock you can also adjust the fan and even the power limit Okay, so um, for you to be able to uh, to reset this, okay, all you just need to do is just uh, click the reboot. I think it is into the farm section over here. Let me just find it real quick, okay. So you can reboot this one, okay. You can reboot it and... Um, after that okay after you've done that guys okay always make sure that um the mining wallets that you have inside into this part over here is connected into your binance okay so in my case uh i'm using a, wa a mining wallets because i am a uh, mining ethereum so uh do not forget to get your uh your et ethereum wa wallet address if you're mining ethereum uh, on binance because what will happen here okay let me just show it to you real quick where i can find it actually um let's 
for a moment please I think it is here um I lost I lost the uh, what they call that Oh man <sighs> When I want to show it to you actually guys um Yeah this part over here Yeah, this part, okay, this part, okay? So, um, you would be able to, to see how much you are earning per day. In my case, I'm earning around uh, $17 to $18 a day, which I have an uh, expected earnings of around 118 USD. And for you to be able to pay out or to be able to this Ethereum to go into your Binance account, you need at least 0. Uh, one ETH okay so um, this is the brief overview so uh, this is uh, like the valid the stale and invalid so um, very important okay just a very important reminder if you are using um, what they call that Hive OS it's very important that uh, you will have a higher runtime because what happens here is that you're going to earn a lot more lesser if you are having a lot of invalid uh, what they call that invalid transactions I guess and um, you will be able to see it here which one is the the stale the invalid and everything so uh, I think last night I got a br there is a there is a brownout for more than um, 30 minutes so it also affects me so it increases my invalid uh, uh, transactions but overall I still have 90% uh, validity which is actually good okay so how much did I uh, what do you call it how much did I uh, spend on this mining rig okay so first of all this 3070 TI's over here cost me more than $1,300 all right so uh, I've made a mistake but if I got 3060 Ti I've probably got eight of these or maybe nine and I will be getting uh, 200 plus mega hash rates uh, more okay so my estimated ROI into this rig okay because I've, I've uh, made a mistake okay is around two years okay if I've made a decision on 3060 Ti probably my ROI is at uh, 12 months but into this part okay my ROI is uh, two years now how you would be able to fasten up your ROI okay so my strategy here it my brief strategy here is that let me just uh, remove that okay and let me go back here my, my brief strategy here is that I'm just going to hold this Ethereum. I'm not going to convert it in USDT because what happens here is that let's say you've earned uh, this amount of money worth 12 months at this kind of price. And let's say Ethereum price goes up. So let's go into the Ethereum. So coin gecko. Okay. Let's say that um, Ethereum price goes up by let's say uh 360,000 pesos which is more likely six thousand dollars okay what will happen here is that i'm still going to get the same amount of money i'm still going to get the same amount of roi than 3060 ti because i've hold every single ethereum that i have and what happens here is that okay um you basically doubled your money just by holding it okay what more if it go if it reaches ten thousand dollars if it reaches twenty thousand dollars it can even it could even be higher than ever okay and if you're going to look forward into the coin market cap okay ethereum dominance is also going up you see here uh the dominance of ethereum is 18.3 percent and i think 
Ethereum will also going to uh, to catch up even more into the future because Ethereum has a really big use case and also uh, Ethereum is being used into the ecosystem, into the games, into the projects and everything. So I'm, I'm also an Ethereum believer. So uh, you see here uh, over the, the past, uh, what do you call that? Past six months, uh, six years, okay? The price of Ethereum goes really up from 100 pesos, which is $2, up to this part over here, which is $3,000, okay? So actually, if you are investing in into Ethereum since 2015, you are looking into a gain of more than 900,000 percent into your money, okay? So this is just my update, guys. I'm still recovering. It's really been a hard time for me having this kind of condition. I'm looking forward to, to create more videos for you guys soon. And uh, of course, uh, my YouTube channel is Crypto Addit. Do not forget to subscribe and also click that uh, notification bell below so that you will be able to receive uh, an update whenever I release a video and see you on the next video.